Hello everyone, today I will talk about new image modifier nodes, the ones with which we can create plant-like images. So in the image modifier, now we have the planet and planet inner nodes. So let's create this planet node and let's drop some image. Let's pick this Y. So let's drop it. It is pretty big, 7 megabits, so need some time. And just because we're making a demo, we're we are gonna make it smaller. So I may let's use image modifier and then resize relative. As you can see, even the copying of image takes some time. So let's reduce its size. And now it's um, 1100 times something around 600 pixels. So. We can see it uh, if we create a sprite. So let's make an uh, image sprite. And let's show this image. We can make it um, bigger. As you can see, it's a bit darker. That's because I haven't implement, implemented a gamma correction in the viewport, but it is implemented in images. So you can see now it's exactly like it's uh, on the rendered screen. But we can fix it in the image modifier nodes. We have a gamma correction node. So if we connect it here and reduce gamma to something like 0.5 and then connect the image, we're gonna get something that we expect. Okay, so we can now connect this image to this planet modifier and get something like this. We want to see it bigger this uh, it has some of the parameters we can rotate the image it's not real time but it's faster than the original image that's like 5000 pixels or something like that and we can scale it so yeah pretty cool and we have another image modifier node is a planet inner so if we connect this one now it's opposite we can see more of the sky also we can rotate and we can scale and yeah those are basically those nodes so if we if you want to know how we did this under the hood so we have this gamma correction node we just use image modifier to copy this image and that's in image copy and in the uv modifier nodes we have this um, two polar uvs which basically in the image generator nodes we have this uv and this uv when it's input here we get exactly the same so it's basically we are creating polar coordinates from our UV coordinates. And then if we use this UV to map image with another UV, we'll get something like a planet-like image. And if we want to get the opposite, this is like a planet inner, then we need to first rotate the initial image. So we can rotate 90, connect the initial image. We rotate by 180 degrees. And then we use this UV. Oh, not this UV, this one. And now we have the planet-like image. So that's basically what's happening under the hood of this planet and planet inner images. The uh, modifier nodes. Yeah, so that's pretty much the preview of these two nodes. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And see you next time.